what's going on guys and welcome back to another nba 2k16 my team video today well i say today this was about a week ago that i opened this box and uh yeah 50,000 vc for the contents that you're about to see in this box is a fucking rip off you know i'm not a person that buys vc you know i can't afford to be buying at like, 200,000 vc for, I think it's about 40 or 50 pound for a game. I, that's the same value as the actual game. You know, I can't be doing that regularly. Not regularly, not at all, actually. Not at all am I going to be paying for VC. So when you use the, the My Team app and you're playing on My Career and uh, My GM to save up your VC, you want to feel like the amount of time that you've put into getting the VC to buy this box, I want something back. That's, it's, it's not a lot to ask. I want something back, you know? I've opened probably about 10 single uh, dynamic ratings, uh, not boxes, just single packs, just single packs, and I always seem to get a dynamic player in the, in, in the pack. So I thought if I open a box, the odds of me getting something decent, it, it should be high. It should be quite high because I've opened, I think, three league VIP boxes, and I always seem to get something like something decent. I've got Demarcus Cousins, a, a Paul George, a Mark Price, a couple of other decent historic players. So I was thinking, if I if I get the dynamic box, I should get something quite nice. Wrong. I get an absolute bunch of crap. Well, I get a couple of dynamic players in. At least I like I see people who's open a dynamic box and don't get no dynamic players in it, which kind of defeats the object of it being called a fucking dynamic box. You should expect to get a few dynamic players in it. And uh, yeah, I got a couple. But nothing to be too excited about. And I just wondered, what is the actual pack odds of getting a gold dynamic player? Because, there, look, there's a, there's a, yeah, Joseph Young. Never using him, he's going to top up my card count. That's all that guy is doing. Who wants that guy? I mean, I even knew what card was coming up then, and did you sense my disappointment? I didn't even want to say the geezer's name. You know what I mean? I didn't even want to say his fucking name. And yeah, I'm currently saving up for a defensive uh, player of the year box because there's some fire players in there. There's some sick players in there. And the pack openings I've watched, the odds seem quite high that you will get something. Not, I'm not particularly saying you're going to get an Amethyst card, but you seem to be getting at least at least an actual defensive player of the year player in the box, which is, you know, that's what the box is called. You should expect to get at least one. And if you do go on to get one, you can guarantee that they're going to be very good defensive player so they're gonna be you feel like you got some worth from the box right? but the dynamic ratings box i mean you just it's not worth it seriously if you're watching this i recommend do not buy this box save the extra 7000 vc and get yourself a league vip box or even try a, a moments box i haven't tried a moments one but from what i've seen on youtube there's also been some good pulls from them boxes but the odds must be minimal to get anyone decent in a dynamic rating box like seriously and i get the hump i get the hump and i think you know what i'm gonna start opening single packs now because i'm pissed off and if you keep watching not particularly this one but the, the pack coming up i get more worth out of a single fucking pack open free just free single league vip pack share and how much does that come to just over 20 21 000 vc just over 21 000 vc i spunked 50 000 on a dynamic fucking box and got Lance Thomas. I, I don't want Lance Thomas, right? I don't want him. I have nothing against the guy. I'm sure he's a lovely fella. But I do not want him. That is not worth the VC that I saved a week for. Or two weeks. Or however fucking long it was to get. I'm not interested. Sorry, Lance. But yeah, serious advice. League VIP on moments. Do not bother with dynamic shit. If you're a dynamic player, save up your MT and buy it. Because the odds of you actually getting a gold or amethyst player is fucking minimal minimal it's the worst feeling when you save up your fucking vc to buy absolute shit and look there you go john wall i will take john wall every fucking day if he was in the dynamic box not even as a dynamic player just a normal john wall i wouldn't be so pissed off he's a duplicate but i don't care i would have been you know what his gold is fucking is sick on this game his speed his defense he could do everything on this game i would have been happy with that but now I'll get stuck with Joseph Young, bronze fucking player, and Lance. I'm sorry, Lance. I don't want to keep having to go at Lance. He's, he played good the other day. To top it off, usually, the best one is when you get a dynamic free agent. 
Well, they're getting better when they're sitting on their ass. They might as well be a dynamic me card. Because I'm doing the same thing as them. Fucking dynamic free agent. Yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this rant. I'm sorry if your ears hurt. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.